my name is Gene from Montreal. Happy to reach out to you. And I do it because I have to do it. It's not my mother tongue language, English. I'm from Montreal, so most of my life I spoke in French. But I think the timing is perfect to reach out to you. Especially my dear friends of United States of America or infected state of America. The 3rd of November is a, probably the most important date of our lifetime to save what's left uh, of our freedom. Now, politicians always try to mix things around. You have the Dems on one side that they are the only one who pro are protecting the Constitution and the freedom. On the other side, you have the Republican repeating the, repeating the same thing. But both of them, they're full of it and you know it. But we still have a system. We still have a free we system. We need to protect. And the way Donald Trump acted the last four years, from Canada, from what I saw, and I was, I followed Donald Trump. I was a pro-Trump. In 2015, I predicted this victory. And in 2016, I re-predicted this victory when it was the, the time of the election. And I was hoping for something new. You know, with his uh, presidency, his historic win. I was hoping that he will turn this historic win against the establishment to unite people in compassion, in uh, tolerance, in love, in sharing. But it was the contrary. As the most powerful person on earth, Donald Trump spent his four years playing the playbook of Vladimir Putin. And we have to go back in time to understand what I'm telling you. Our free world in Europe, here, in Canada, in the States, and everywhere else where they have this same system of free world, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, in some extent. It's hard to understand the Japanese society, but let's the Japanese be the Japanese. We have a system where, okay, it's not perfect, but where you're free to debate, where you're free to be against uh, an idea, a party, an ideology, and explain why you're against or you're for. And that was the beauty of our society. On um, tolerance, we understood that we had to exchange idea, debate also, sometimes uh, aggressively a bit about our, uh, our idea and the way we defend our idea. But it was, it was fair. It was in a, in a certain uh, protection, if you want, of the freedom of speech in a frame, you were in a frame that you had to respect. It's like a boxing fight. Huh? You have the ring, you have the two uh, fighters and you have the referee and you have the, the laws and the regulation that you have to follow. Otherwise you're going to get, you're going to lose some point and you're going to get maybe dis disqualified. Everywhere you have some rules. In the nature, you have some rules. The bees have rules. The, uh, the ants have rules. We have rules. The government is going to always be there. Taxes are always going to be there. They are there since two, three, four thousand uh, years ago, huh? where we, they created that idea of taxing people. So nothing you're going to do against that. So no system is perfect, but the way we were living was fantastic. It was decent. It was uh, respectful of the other one. Even if you were against someone, you were debating all night with friends. Night is over, hug, you leave, and life goes on, and nothing happened. Now, 
the Russian with the social media that expanded uh, their power understood that because they have they are the bad guys they're real bad guys the Russian government Vladimir Putin 40 years in the KGB the ex USSR is just the same thing now with just another presentation but it's the same people the same system the same power the same party that govern Russia understood that they're the bad guys and with all kind of conspiracy theory invaded our country our social media with all these seeds of cancerous seeds of completely demoniac idea that they wanted to convince us that our system is rotten our politicians are rotten they eat kids they that's so believe even these stories but we have a lot of per, uh, we have a lot of sick people we have a lot of unstable people very fragile to this uh, to the this type of uh, of content and very easily uh, very easy to convince them to certain idea like that because that's what they're reaching all their life because they're unstable because they're not psychologically balanced that's the type of story that they're attracted to so the russian understood that long time ago and started to infiltrate all kind of conspiracy theory about 9-11 about this about that to make us believe slowly that our system was and us we were the bad guys and our system rotten what when you have the freedom when you have prosperity when you had the freedom of ex expressing yourself without the fear of being poisoned killed or sent to to Siberia like Putin does with all his opposition because he cannot argue cannot debate and he cannot defend his or awful position cannot do that legitly cannot do that as a legit uh, fashion in a legit way so he has to terrorize he terrorized the journalist when you look at putin in a press conference there are like two three hundred people like under a control or a drug or some sort and they're all like angel innocent angel listening to that guy talking for hours and hours saying stupidities after stupidities after nonsense after nonsense and they're all scared so they have to pretend they're there as journalists and they have to sometimes ask some questions like baby questions so Vladimir Putin can go on for another three hours so that's the way the media are operating in that environment a bit like what's Donald Trump doing with the media nobody can ask Donald Trump anything on his politics on his policy on anything and if they do they're the enemy of the people they're fake news and like the German Donald Trump for four years and all the Republican repeat and Fox News and all these clowns repeat repeated that type of nonsense and lies every day so it can register it in your mind and you finally at the end you maybe question maybe yourself true. when it's complete nonsense since when asking a politician or a president or a prime minister something that doesn't please him make you an enemy of the people that's completely the Putin playbook that Donald Trump implanted 
planted the seed in USA. Very dangerous. It, that's why it's important to understand what I'm telling you. And that was the playbook of the Russian to try to make us believe that we are the bad guys, our government are the bad guys, and the Russian, they're so, so extraordinary, and they're the good guys. So they started all type of ideas, the Kazakh mafia, the Jewish empire, the, the Rothschild, the this, the that, and all these fakery story with QAnon, which I will not be surprised that emerged from Russia itself. Another nonsense story propagating all kind of all kind of complete, complete stupidity. Not one story coming out of QAnon as a logic or structure of logic. It's all nonsense. Coming out directly from a cuckoo's nest. And again, to make you believe that our system, our politician, our agency, intelligence agency, are the bad guys. And we have to now weaponize Weaponize politics against our politic enemy. That's completely astonishing. It's out of this mind and this world is blow, blowing out our minds. So what am I asking you on the 3rd of November? I'm talking now to my fellow American. And it's not very important if you're Democrat or Republican or independent or whatever. I want you to realize that's what's go what's going on now. It's it's a seed of cancer, a seed of deception of the greatest level. And you need to correct that for the well-being of the entire world. You need to correct that. You need to correct your mistake. And we all got trapped in that grand illusion, uh, Trump, uh, big uh, TV show of his campaign of 216. But we see the result of that. The United States are on their knees. We, weaker than ever. Donald Trump brought the United States on their knees. They have everybody against them. The entire world population starting to hate them again. You remember the episode of uh, Dominican Republic a year and a half ago where you had 30 Americans poisoned in hotel, in their mini bars, but nobody else, just American. Because Donald Trump, another, again, again played the Putin playbook. Trying to make believe, to make the world believe that the United States were abused. Since when the United States were abused in anything? When they ruled the world. When their money is the king of the fiat money. When they, they have everybody for the last 60 years under their control. So since when the United States of America were abused and nobody is challenging this guy, really challenging this guy on that because it doesn't really sounds good if you try to contradict a point of view like that if you're in the States. You understand what I'm saying? So, because of your action, because of your vote on two, four years ago, you put the entire world on fire. Nobody can talk to nobody anymore. 
Nobody can debate idea because it's only rage and rage and throwing rocks and threatening everybody of being a traitor to be prosecuted or and you should be in jail or nobody can talk about idea no more and most of these people that came in the political field to give their two senses they have no clue of politics they don't even know the program the political program agenda of the dams or the republican they're just there to discharge their anger without any logic behind them. So what you need to do on the 3rd of November, dear fellow American, it's to correct the mistake you did. And we forgive you for that mistake because I got trapped in that too. But I didn't vote because I'm not American. But you have the responsibility to correct that, to save our system, to save our freedom. Because if you make the seed of lies, the seed of the Putsin playbook take place with another four years, I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of us. It's going to send a very, very disturbing message. Our politicians are not perfect. Our system is not perfect, but we cannot use the puts in playbook to install a regime like this in our democracy. That would be the end of everything that we share so much and we have in common. So you need to correct that because of your power, because of your influence, because the place you take in this world, you need to correct that and make sure we save our democracy. I'll be back in English. I will uh, share more thoughts with you. But I really, really, really wanted to tell you that correct that mistake it's very important